We talked about the screening and the ball screens and how McKenna Maurice's off ball movement impacts this Penn State offense. Let's take a look at it here, as you see right here. Take this example from a recent game. Leilani Kapanis gets the ball here. That's the example of how it's been going. When she's the ball handler, Marisa heads to that far side corner. We've seen them use that in this game. Now, just like with Illinois, it's the big setting the screen on the outside. Ali Brigham right there. Thompson to the far side wing, and look at all these eyes. Four sets of eyes on two players, and nobody bothering Brigham, which, as we'll see, spells trouble for Michigan State. Now you go from the screen to the pick. The pick set by Brigham right here allows Kapanis to curl to the hoop. Still, three sets of eyes on Thompson, and the only one that can get to Leilani Kapanis. If she does, you have Shea Chesky wide open for a three-point basket. So just a great play designed by Carolyn Keeger that utilizes their strengths and really encapsulates their offense. Again, this is a team whose bread and butter are the ball screens and off-ball movement, and two early substitutions, Anna Camden, and Allie Brigham to try and spearhead those screens on the outside. Back here underway in Champaign. Yelena up by 11. And Kapanis taking the ball up the court. And we might see a little bit of that action you were just talking about, George. It's Kayla Thomas setting the screens on the outside. Kapanis now. Finds Kayla Thomas. What a great response here by Illinois. They're keeping Penn State to one side of the court. Three seconds on the shot clock. Marisa, no good. What a great defensive response right there from Illinois, denying Penn State's ability to cross the court. Really, it was just McKenna Marisa one time to get through, and she didn't have anything there. That was just a great defensive response. Adalia McKenzie tried to find Bryn Shoup Hill on that, but it goes out of bounds. It'll stick with the Illini as Jada Peoples checks into the game for the Illini. Shea Chesky back in for the Lions. Let's see if they turn to the threes, too. Again, both she teams. and Marisa are both involved on those screen plays to try and get some threes. Chesky now with the ball, and she chucks up a three, and it is pure. Great catch and shoot player, 40% from range on the season. She usually loves the corner, but proving she can do it in more ways than one here. Penn State looking for a spark plug, and they might have one. Penn State has already cut back into Illinois' lead. Cook finds Bostic on the baseline, who throws up a jumper, and it is good. Yeah, both teams making the bigs play with one arm behind their back in terms of what their strengths and weaknesses are, but Bostic proving that she can answer that call, hitting the 15-footer. And good players can win in more ways than one. When their first option's not working, they can turn to their second and still provide for their teams. An example right there from Kendall Bostick. 